Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market, and today I have another special um, viewer consignment to um, unbox with you. Uh, this one is from a repeat um, consigner uh, who found me here on YouTube. Uh, I don't see any of her jewelry. She already knows what I like, uh, what my customers like, so um, it is a true, real mystery. Um, sometimes I'll get a picture here and there, but this one I have not seen anything, so I'm super excited. Um, if anyone out there is interested in consigning with me, uh, my contact information is in the description. Oops, sorry. Description box below. I've cut out the address information. Um, but just reach out to me if you're interested and consigning and I will send you the relevant information. And if you are new here, we do mystery jewelry unboxings. We get stuff from Goodwill, from thrift stores, from viewers here on YouTube. Um, oh, oh wow, it's packed. Um, so if you're interested, just reach out to me and um, Oh, she's sweet. Wrote me a note. Uh, reach out to me and we will go from there. So let's get into it. I'm excited. Always excited to do an unboxing. All right. Ooh. This is pretty. Let me get that light over here. I missed a fantastic jewelry sale yesterday. Uh, Martha Turner, who is a, a well known Houstonian. Uh, big real estate agent um, who passed in 2022. Her daughter s sold some of her jewelry at a benefit uh, sale um, this past weekend, and I totally forgot about it. Um, but anyhow, um, this will will fill that empty spot for me. <laughs> um, so this looks like it's sterling. Let's see. There's the mark. Of course, we'll test everything. All silver is cleaned and tested regardless of if you do it or not at home before it gets here. So don't worry about doing that. Ooh, this, this box is loaded. This particular customer loves blingy, shiny. She has had some beautiful, fantastic pieces. Um, so here we have, looks like they're 925. Beautiful construction. Ooh, very nice tennis style, um, studded, uh, CZ studded um, uh, br bracelet. Oh, mine went blank for a moment. Very pretty. Ooh, looks like we've got a couple of them. Uh oh, oh. So we have another here. Ooh, those are pretty stones. Probably CZs. And we see 925, 925 FAS, very pretty. Ooh, this is very pretty, very silky. Always test these stones. Um, there are many tennis bracelets that are diamond and what are actually set in sterling instead of in gold because some people cannot wear gold. Some people um, have skin allergies to gold. So always check the stones. Super nice, super, super pretty. And then we have another one. These are CZs, I'm sure. Very nicely cut, very clear and crisp. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah. CZ. Or is that an R? No, nope, that's CZ. And then so here's the marking here. ATI, I believe. No. JJV. So I'll look that one up. Those are gorgeous bracelets. Ooh, she sent one like this before. But I believe the pendant was a fire opal. And I believe this is Israeli silver. 
This stone, I'm not sure right away what that is, but this is beautiful. And it's that sort of electroform style. May not be Israeli, I could be wrong. It's signed there, so we'll do our research and figure out who that is. Let's see, let's see if you can see there. And then let's look here. Oh, so pretty, pretty, pretty. Love it. We are having some horrible weather today here in Houston. So I am at home getting caught up on videos and unboxings because I have a lot. And I do mean a lot of stuff right now. Um, so... This is pretty. So we can see it's sterling. So it's sort of hammered, textured um, cuff. That's super pretty. As I said, this customer, all of my customers, um, both local and the ones that I've met here on YouTube, all have excellent taste. We all seem to gravitate to each other. So I enjoy everyone's unboxings individually and I kind of learn their style and um, it's, been, it's been really fun. All right, so here's the back of this piece. Right away, I'm not seeing anything, but it is feeling like it could be rhodium plated. This might be Nodri, I'm not sure. That's really pretty. I didn't see a hang tag here and no 925 mark that I can see. So I'll do my research and see what I come up with. There might be a mark that I'm just missing. Um, that's always possible. Even though the light may appear good on your screen, it is just no comparison to the lights I have in my office. Oh my Lord, it's so bright in my office. And See, people have asked me before, why don't you do the videos in my office? Well, here's why. When I am there, I am actually working. And, oh gosh, look at this. Um, there are people who come and drop off consignments for my regular, you know, estate auctions also, and also jewelry. Um, so it's really hard for me to record there because when I'm there, people see my car, they stop. Um, so it's just impossible. Um, I'll have to start and stop, start and stop. And I don't know how to edit videos and I'm not going to learn how to edit videos because I want this to be super organic. So you get me with all my flaws. So there we go. This is pretty. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. That's a sterling with a gold vermeil. So you can see mark the marks there. And these are so pretty, look at that. And I actually have a sterling and gold vermeil chain that I just got from some stuff that I had purchased. So I'll probably add that to this pendant to make it a set and then put the earrings with it. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. rings looks like they're all sterling oh my gosh that's a lot sure is look at this she sent a lot last time too see the marks in there Ooh, very classy beautiful I like that sort of matte uh, finish there. So people have asked me how I clean my silver. Um, the people who have purchased from me in my auction that are also viewers here, you know, you'll see stuff on camera and then you see it in my auction and you're like, wow, that looks different. So I, <laughs> I do three steps. So when I receive it, even if it comes super clean and polished like this one, I have a solution that it sets in for just a just a moment if it's super super tarnished 
Then after that, I use Wyman's, it's W-E-I-M-A-N-S, and if I had the bottle in here, I'd show it to you. So I use Wyman's Silver Wipes. You can get them on Amazon. Um, one day I'll figure out how to link all that so that you guys can see what I use and purchase if you'd like. Um, these are gorgeous. Again, I'll test all these. The bag says Sterling, um, but I will check to make sure. But anyhow, so I clean them with the, the uh, Wyman's um, Silver Wipes. And um, after I do that, then I use another company called, um, you see that signature there? God, that's pretty. Super, super nice. Very fancy. Um, I then use another company. Um, they're like antibacterial wipes called Germ Out. And I actually found them, that brand at Goodwill. All of our Goodwills here in Houston we're carrying them and I picked them up one day and they're not so super saturated with cleanser they're just it's just enough um, and it's so hard sometimes to to use the wipes that have so much moisture that you know it's dripping and loosening the stones these are just perfectly um, moist and um, oh, that's pretty too um, they do the job so after the Wyman's, then I use the germ out and wipe all that, um, uh, all the residue off from the silver wipe. And then I let them air dry and then I go back over them. This is my third step. I go back over them with the buffing cloth. So it's, even this, even though it's super shiny, sparkly, we'll still get that same treatment. There's our signature. It's actually like my therapy. I love to clean jewelry. Um, ooh, check that out. That's probably some sort of mystic topaz. That is a really pretty variation. My goodness, look at the how that light's hitting. Anyhow, so that's my steps for cleaning the jewelry. Um, costume or non-precious metal, I use the germ out wipes and clean everything very, very well. I get into every crevice and nook. I use a little um, uh, embroidery uh, needle to get down and, you know, between the stones because I like everything to be, you know, really neat and polished and clean. Um, that's pretty too. It's marked there. Excuse my hands. I've been polishing jewelry. Um, and then so after the germ out on the costume jewelry, then I go over it again also with the same uh, buffing cloth to get out any handprints. Because once it hits the light box and I start photographing this stuff to go into auction, that light box will pick up a fingerprint like no other and that is so aggravating to me when I um, see other people's pictures because I don't want to see fingerprints. They're going to happen, it's, but I like that the people that do make an effort, it really, um, you know, would make me spend more uh, to see it super clean. So this one's really nice. Look at that. Those might be black diamonds. I'm not sure. Gosh, that's pretty. Beautiful stone. This, I would almost imagine, would be gold. It's not. I, I, this is all sterling, but the way these, these stone, that stone is so nicely cut, I would, that could pass for white gold for sure. Anyway, let's keep going. Ooh, a pretty Lee Sands. Oh, and it's a little peacock. She's a fellow peacock lover. She and I have shared our peacock collection with one another. She saw mine, she showed me hers. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Lee Sands jewelry is starting to um, make, make, make a wave again. I've had good luck lately um, with the pieces that I've gotten in, so. This is 
interesting. And I don't sell a lot of gold through my auction just simply because it is a magnet for um, scammers and thieves. Um, I use a melt company for most of my gold, unless they're small pieces. This is pretty. I was almost expecting a Givenchy mark. So, so pretty. I mean, the back feels very much like rhodium plating. Huh, it's not marked. So I'm gonna save this because she does make me little notes. I'm gonna save the number on this one. See, so yeah, I don't mess with gold too, too much during COVID. We, um, in one month during COVID, I was scammed from multiple auctions, lost about $30,000 um, in gold jewelry that was not mine. So not only did I lose the merchandise, but I had to pay my customer for jewelry that was um, stolen, you know, using a bad credit card and um, reversing the charges. So I have safeguards in place now. Um, you know, I had safeguards then, but COVID changed everything for, for a lot of different businesses. So I don't fool a whole lot with gold. The smaller pieces I will, but anything big or substantial I sell privately or I have a melting company that I use. This I believe is by Natasha. And it's gorgeous. I love those little turquoise um, uh, stones or beads. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. So we have these sort of pierced, reticulated um, earrings and they're signed. You can tell they're sterling. Can't see what it says. Of course, I'll look under my loop and determine, but those are pretty. Mm. It's very pretty brooch. I'm gonna close this because it will go right through my hand for sure. All right, so this looks like we don't have a brand, but it's so pretty. I've got sort of um, amethyst stones and then what appears to um, be like supposed to be marcasites, but they're just, you know, the, the, the brooch is molded that way. Very pretty. Ooh, these are gorgeous. And you can see they're marked there. Again, this customer, like all of mine, have excellent taste in jewelry. Um, those are really nice, and look how substantial they are. Nice, chunky set. Very good shape. And then this set, also the same story, beautifully cut. This might be might be a quartz. I don't know. I'm going to have to test this. This doesn't look like a CZ. So. Ooh, I spy garnets. So I have a, a customer locally. Well, f f friends, really. They, they, they have a jewelry business, had a jewelry business. Um, here in Houston for many, many years. Um, beautiful garnet, sterling garnet necklace. Anyhow, um, they um, were really big in the early 2000s, late, late 90s. Um, they were selling in just about every hospital in the Houston area. Um, so they, they closed their business and I've been buying from them slowly but surely, but now they're at the end and they're ready to get out, get out for, for good this time. So I'm going to look at the leftover inventory that they have, I think next week, the 22nd, whatever day that falls on. Okay. 
So that will be a massive, I don't know if I'll be able to do an unboxing there because it's going to be so many pieces. So you can see it's signed there. You can see 925, so it's a gold vermeil. And then you've got this beautiful, um, these beautiful stones, which I'm thinking are probably CZs. I'm gonna try to find my macro lens and see if it works better maybe on this uh, phone because it really didn't work on the other one. Ooh, these are oldies. Those are definitely oldies there. They might be sterling. Yep, see it marked there. And then another beautiful set. And they're probably sterling as well. And these are also very vintage. They may not be sterling. I see maybe a little verdigris. And verdigris just occurs naturally. Sometimes it happens for no reason and sometimes um, makeup or water can um, instigate verdigris. Um, but I'll check those and see if they're sterling, but they're beautiful. <clears throat> and I just don't have the patience to clean the verdigris. It is very hard to do for me. Other people may have a better way, but I don't. Those are nice. These might be Israeli. Oh, Turkish, Turkish. Look. So, I see Turkey. That's 925. Very beautiful filigree style earrings. All sterling. <coughs> Pardon me. Put a smiley face on this one. Is that? Let me see really quick. Is this gold? Oh wow, this is gold. Peru. Peru 14K. If you all can kind of see there. the 14k very very beautiful piece wow very nice this will go through auction I'm gonna keep that note there she put me a cute little smiley face it's, it's sweet <laughs> so these are some vintage guys right here and you can definitely tell they're sterling you can see a mark there on the hook, the earring hooks. Very vintage. And I love these. Look at that very unique closure. Definitely old. They're kind of mid-century modern, in my opinion. Very pretty. If you like sterling, my next auction is going to be full of it. We have this consignment plus a few more plus I already have multiple pieces that um, from a previous consignment that need to go through so KA 1772 925 Italy so beautiful fine Italian sterling beautiful bracelet very well made has that beautiful slide in um, closure so hard to do through the camera and it has a clasp here. Oh boy. So pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. This is gorgeous of station style so vintage gold tone and we've got these sort of purple crystals let's see where's the closure ah oh, Sarah Coventry how about that beautiful absolutely beautiful nice long 
piece. You can layer, wrap it any which way you'd like. those gemstones I can tell by looking those are gems so you can see a mark there you can see that R is for Ross Simon you can see it's 925 with the gold vermeil and then you have these genuine gemstones here this is a beauty great 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 condition and I love that closure Crown Trifari. There's Crown Trifari. Beautiful silver tone and crystal um, necklace. Beautiful condition. I think these pieces are rhodium plated. This is just as smooth as butter. If it's not rhodium plated, then it's gold plated, but I would lay money to bet that it's, it's rhodium. Right. Well, these are signed. Okay, so these are Israeli. You can see there, Israel, 925. Beautiful. We've got this faceted black crystal here. I'm not thinking those are onyx. They don't feel onyx, but I'll definitely test them. Those are beautiful. This is some fine, fine, fine stuff. I'm loving it. I think I have a brooch. I think, I think, if I can get it open. <sighs> Look at that sucker. That's beautiful. It's very peacockish. Peacockish. I made I made up a word. I love the back on here. It's super clean. It's definitely got some age. Not marked, but that's okay. It's substantial on its own. No stones missing. Very good condition. I like it, like it. Ooh. Look at that. That's a big one. So I'm an eight. So that gives you an idea of the size. I'm an eight or a nine. Or I don't remember. So pretty. You can see a mark in there. Let me see what it says. I'm just curious. Huh. I think this is costume. Let me look at her notes really quick. So unsigned, that's gorgeous. Also reminds me of Peacock. I think it would actually pair beautifully with that. That would make a cute set. So I might do that. I love the bling. Ooh, so birdie. Let's look at the tag really quick. Okay, VCLM, you can see that there. It's so VCLM. And then we got this beautiful drop necklace here. This beautiful, beautiful crystals. Look how lovely. Definitely rhodium plated in the back. Beautiful construction, super, super clean. Sharp stones. So lovely. I'm going to set that here so I don't get it tangled because that would be my luck. <clears throat> T 
Tangles are something that I have no patience for. And one thing I love the most about you uh, doing consigner unboxings because rarely ever are they tangled. Look at that. Beautiful AB. Rhinestone necklace. It's more modern based on that lobster closure. And then looks like we have sort of gold mesh AB um, earrings that match. It's completely lovely. Let me see what she says about this one. And for anybody interested in consigning, you don't have to number anything or send in any um, descriptions. If you do, that's all for you. Um, sometimes it'll help me if I don't recognize something. Um, I'm gonna keep this in the bag because that will cause a tangle. Well, this is nice. Not sure exactly who it's made by. I've got this beautiful crown, some Fleur de Lay. Pretty hearts. Not sure if it's silver or not. It's kind of screaming Brighton to me, but I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm gonna keep that with this. Let me have a look. That's a charm bracelet. And you're staying in the bag too because you are a tangle cul culprit. I can tell you this is sterling. I feel it. It's definitely vintage. Beautiful sterling um, bracelet. Some things I can tell just by touching. Um, of course, everything will be tested by the time it's hitting auction. To concede 925. Very pretty. This might be KJL. She has quite a bit of KJL. Look how sweet zebras. Let's see. Yep, there we go. So KJL, Kenneth J. Lane. Beautiful enameled zebra. And it's still got very good... Um, the springs are fantastic. Great shape. Ooh, look how different. Got those prong set rhinestone um, beads. And then you've got these sort of acrylic beads. This is very Victorian in style, but not Vic Victorian period. It's not signed, but this is a great, also a great layering piece. And clean that up and it's gonna be sparkly. Ooh, this feels really fun. Look at that. And she's kind of thinking, she put a note in there, and she's thinking it's Israeli. And she might be right. It kind of feels like that electroform. But you can see that 925 there. Look how nice. Very nice, substantial piece. Don't get stuck on my finger. That would be horrible. Got another beautiful piece here. This feels nice. This I would almost guarantee is Israeli. Yep, there you can see it there. Beautiful. 
feels like butter on the inside. So well made. Using pile. Ooh, look at these gemstones. Beautiful peridot, topaz, citrine, garnet, amethyst. Yikes. So pretty. Here's the back. And C925, China. And I think I saw an R for Ross Simon. Very nice, beautiful piece. The other bracelets. We have a gold tone. Wait. Is that 925 or 585? I can't see. I'm gonna have to get glasses. 925, Italy. So gold vermeil, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Immaculate condition. Love this closure. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Okay. Not seeing a mark there. Then we have this beautiful silver tone Styled of faux marcasites and crystals. So very pretty. Let's see what she says about this one. All right. I don't want it to end. Keep going, keep going. Ooh. Beautiful garnets and CZs. This is a substantial piece. Here's the closure. You can see the sterling mark. Marked there as well. And there as well. This is a nice piece. I love these organza bags. I have a ton of them, but I just don't have a use for them. It's so hard to put jewelry in them unless they're in boxes because the pieces can get stuck so easily. Ooh, this is pretty. Beautiful garnets. She does like garnets and marcasite. She likes everything, but she really likes garnets and marcasite. This might, let me have a look. Uh oh, this is gold. She got brave and sent some 14K this time. You see there? Beautiful. Now pieces like this, everything is safe to sell with me when in the instance that there is an issue, it is covered by my um, protection, you know, the uh, chargeback protection. Um, but at the time during COVID, when all that started, I did not have protection, but I do now. And just like then, um, if anything ever happens, my customers always paid. So now if you send me a big chunk like this of gold, I probably wouldn't sell this through my auction if it were real gold, because that's just a, a hard thing to do with, um, the way people people can be online so beautiful gold tone 
Uh, I know through the camera it's looking like there's substantial wear, but I think it's just a glare. There is a little bit of wear to it, not um, much, but this is so pretty. I like that braided texture and it's just, you know, super substantial and nice and my, um, gold tone is in. Gold tone is definitely in. Oh, 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 oh. Let me get rid of this bubble wrap for sure. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. This feels yummy on the inside. Let's see. Here's the clasp. All right. So we have these very dark, smoky, um, uh, stone set in gold tone. Not seeing a mark right away, but I'm going to leave it in the bag and look at her note. There are some brands that unfortunately do not mark their stuff. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my word, that's gorgeous. There are some jewelry companies that won't mark or it came with a hang tag or, um, so sometimes, especially with original owner pieces, um, uh, the, the, the owner will know where he or she purchased it. So what does this say? I see nine, two, five. Okay. Cooperate. No. ISB. So this is sterling with a gold vermeil. Just so nice and fancy. Beautiful, beautiful piece. She said that these, she was sending gaudy rings, but to me, these are not gaudy at all. They're just beautiful. Oh, my godmother has probably 200 of these things. Oh, my Lord. When I had to clean out her safe deposit box. My God. Literally, I think she had 200 of these pouches. Ooh, this kind of looks like Heidi Doss just on glance. It is Heidi Doss. Beautiful. My godmother, she um, she had a massive collection of 24 karat um, pieces. Oops. Let's see a little stone missing there. I think I have one I can pop in to replace it. But other than that, this is gorgeous. Beautiful Heidi Doss watch. Anyhow, my, my great aunt, she, uh, I mean, not great aunt, my godmother, she, um, she had quite a collection of 24K that she got, um, when she was in Taipei, um, and she got it a long time ago when it was not, um, so common to see and paid some crazy prices. The original price tags on there blew me away. So cheap. Um, but she did well with that stuff. All right, I see a tag. So EFM, I know who that is. It's just not coming to me at the moment. And of course, we have a little Florida Lay style. A you know, beautiful brass tone. Those might be glass. Yeah, they're glass. Very well made. And something I found interesting in my godmother's safe deposit box is um, uh, she had, oh, looks like there's earrings with it too, matching earrings. Um, her wedding ring, when I pulled everything out, we were going through it together. I said, why do you have two rings? <laughs> she had two identical wedding rings set in 18 karat white gold. Huge, huge diamond. Um, and she said, oh, 
my mom insisted that she have one to match when, when my husband married me. So I always thought that was so funny. And surprisingly, I did sell them. I did list them for sale. I sold them one, but did not sell the other. Um, and then unfortunately, someone stole it at her assisted living place. So they'll pay one day. Look how pretty. I mean, it looks like we're marked. If I'll hold it still long enough, maybe we can see. Made in China. By whom? When I first started to pull this out, I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like a St. John that I just sold. Um, so I'm not seeing anything right away. I will look closer, of course. I'm gonna keep the thing. Let me see what she says about it. Unmarked. Unmarked gold filigrees. But irregardless of it being unmarked, that's so nice. Well made, well cared for. No, no loss of gold. Back up here. This box never ends. I'm gonna go ahead and run it all the way through until we finish because um, you, you, a lot of you have said that you like the longer videos and I, I like doing them because uh, sometimes I forget to upload part two. <laughs> and sometimes I run out of time and just have to forego a part two. And then sometimes whatever's left in the box doesn't make it to part two, but not in this case. We're gonna keep going. This is beautiful and super substantial. Reminds me of Natasha and she did love Natasha jewelry, so. Huh. Okay. Unmarked. I think definitely in the style of Natasha. Ooh. These are beautiful. Beautiful turquoise with silver filigree. Probably Israeli. And this is probably um, a halite or magnesite that's been dyed turquoise. And see it's marked there so very pretty Let's set those aside those are delicate <clears throat> anyway my my godmother lord bless her she's a hot mess but yeah someone um stole her her wedding ring along with the rest of the jewelry that she kept, I was sick about it, and so was she. But we've been buying pieces here and there for her, so. These are Givenchy. You can see the mark there. Givenchy. These beautiful smoky orange uh, crystals. So very pretty. We purposely kind of sold everything that had good value before she went into assisted living for this very reason. But um, when I couldn't sell the second uh, ring, she, she decided she wanted it back. And sure enough, sure enough, that's all it took. So this is Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful crystal. See, I don't think this one's going to be sterling. No. But this is still a really nice costume set, and it's probably silver plated because there's like literally no wear. So you've got the ring, the pendant, and a bracelet that all match in a silver tone. It's a really nice set. Keep it together. Let's see. You can see the box. We're getting down to the to the nitty gritty and I need to get my area set back up here. I had to move out all my whatnot stuff and um, 
whatnot is at, that's another reason I can't really film in my office because that's where we do whatnot. Uh, I have no interest in whatnot whatsoever, but I have a lady, my, my employee Dana, um, she does whatnot for me sometimes. But we've been so busy lately. Scheduling shows is just not in the cards. Oh my goodness, you are beautiful. Let's look at the back first. Rav. Uh, this is, what is the name? Oh my gosh. I can't remember. Um, I know this designer. And let's look at the front. Ta-da! That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Sterling silver. You got this beautiful choker, torque. Um, also going to be sterling, I'm sure. Yeah, you can see it marked there, 925. That is so pretty. That piece will do very well. All of this is gonna do very well. I love these beautiful, beautiful faceted AB crystal long strand can layer do what you want with them hand knotted a lot of time went into these can make something with it or wear it as it is whatever floats your fancy huh it says gdt 925 turkey i was not expecting i was expecting this to just be gold tone and look, it's like a peacock feather pendant. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Got some enameling, you've got a stone there, maybe a cat eye. So very nice. And beautiful Turkish silver, very well made. Mm -mm. Like we have an assortment of pendants here. I am gonna go ahead and open them all because they'll be cleaned. If I can get it open. So I'm gonna open them really quick and then we'll look at each of them. And you know, I've gotta look at the back first. Ooh, I can tell that one's gonna be pretty. And these pendants are so substantial that they really don't need, oy, they really don't need a chain to go with them. Okay. All right, so number one, so you can see marked here, 925. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful paneled, reticulated, um, and articulated. Very cool. Let's look at this guy. Very nicely made. 925. So, so, so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Very substantial. Lots of sterling. These are um, some hefty pendants. And another reticulated pendant. Sterling silver, you can see there. Here's the back on this guy. You can see the mark there. Ooh. So these will be black CZs, black crystals, or maybe black diamonds, it's possible. Black diamonds can be a little bit less than a white diamond, so it is found a lot in sterling jewelry. Oh, and this will match those earrings. You remember earlier we found the Turkish filigree earrings? And now there's a pendant. They'll be sold separately, of course. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh-oh. Let's step on there. Ooh. Take a look. It's a beautiful long ring. Definitely sterling silver. Maybe even Israeli. Really. 
Let me see. I'm trying to find a mark, but so, sometimes it's so hard to see through the camera. Um, yeah, it is very hard to see. You can maybe see right there. That's such a nice uh, ring. Very, very pretty. That's how it would look on, minus my ugly hand. No, she said out of chains. These, honey, are so substantial that they don't need a chain. They definitely don't. Because some of these can be worn with gold chains, some with sterling. Um, this is beautiful, beautiful. Nice sterling, genuine gemstones. Very good condition. She's unsure on the Presidian what the stone might be. Oops. Hmm. I don't know if this is an extender or if this is another piece that got tangled. Just when I thought I was going to get away with no tangles. <laughs> Where's my upholstery needle when I need it? Lord. Okay, so we'll go through this later. <laughs> we'll get that later. All right, so she hit this with the Presidian and she wasn't sure. So this looks mm. I don't know. It's got some of those mystic topaz, but I've never seen, it's definitely not mystic topaz, I'm crazy. That might be a rubellite. That's a beautiful stone. Let's see the back. Ooh, look at the back, how it's super AB. I mean, it's shining all around. That's not my light doing that. I'm not seeing any marks in there. Um, hmm. Let's see if there's anything here. So that's 925. So I think it's definitely for sure sterling. Um, that could be a tourmaline variety. But with that AB, I just don't know. I'll test. I'll put it on the Presidian also. And then I'll have it. I'll hit it with my rock machine. My rock machine can identify gemstones. So I'll see. God, it's pretty. We will figure this one out. Ooh, this is a chunky, chunky pendant, and it's it sterling. That's no, that's Nadri. That N is for Nadri, it is not Napier. I learned something new about that mark, thanks to my sweet customer. But the, she probably didn't see the N, it's so hard to see, but it's right there, that's Nadri. Nadri is very expensive, sold at Bloomingdale's. It's not precious metal, um, these are glass, you know, crystal, um, uh, crystal uh, piece here that's so well made. Some of these Nadri pieces are, and I could be saying the name wrong, I don't know, but it's N-A-D-R-I. Um, 
<clears throat> but some of the pieces I was looking are two and three hundred dollars for not a lick of precious metal. Oh, this is beautiful. What is this? PA. So this is Paula Abdul. And if it weren't for this customer we're going through right now, I would have never known Paula Abdul made jewelry. I do see a boo-boo, little, little crystal missing there. I might try to match it and fix it, or I might leave it alone. Somebody might have um, a stone that, let me look at the size really quick. Oh yeah, I have one that size. So I'll pop one in there and get that fixed. There's her signature. It's got this long beaded chain. Uh, her stuff is not set in um, any kind of precious metal, but it's so very well made. Um, I would definitely say it has rhodium or gold plating, uh, silver plating, maybe titanium, I don't know. Um, but look how beautiful, very Art Deco in style. I love that. And don't worry about that missing piece, I'll get it fixed. Ooh. Looks like we have some more, oh, all 925. Let's look one at a time. Yep, she loves the Florida de Lay. So we have some more of those little black stones. I'll test them to see what they are. Those are sterling. And we have, ooh, this is a big guy here. And that's probably an onyx. Kind of feels like an onyx, yeah. Very nice, very clean. A lot of people like to see the marks, so I show them if I remember. You can see 925 there. Right now, I'm just, my hands hurt. Ugh. I know nobody's looking at my hands but me, but it still grosses me out. Ooh, that's pretty. So that's either going to be a black enameling. No, actually, I think that's onyx with a sterling overlay. And pretty a pretty cross on either side. This one seems a little bit smaller than the others. And that's signed. 925. How pretty, gorgeous. If you're looking for rings, this auction will be for you. More 925 by that same designer as the one we just saw. Substantial, this is a heavy piece. And this one's pretty. Sort of a reticulated scroll pattern. And we have our marking. Looks like it's gonna be down in down in there. And finally, and this is very interesting. This one's oldie. It's got a mark there. Very nice floor to lay. Very nice. Okay, we got a few more. Items to go. This has been really, really fun. All right, all right, all right. Oh my goodness. This is Givenchy. Look how beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful crystals. There's the Givenchy mark. You can kind of see. Oh, so it's actually faced on both sides. That's interesting. It's a beautiful long silky chain. Definitely rhodium plating in there. Um, and it's got this sort of station style um, chain. Oh, here's the closure. So, so beautiful. And then the Givenchy mark is there. It's, I don't know why it's hard to see. There, and then we've got the matching earrings. Oh, okay, so one side it seems to be raised, one side is not. So I'm, I'm sure the earrings will be signed probably here or on the um, exterior. Beautiful set.
she had a lot of Givenchy that we've already um, gone through and shown and, and sold. Ooh, so this is an interchangeable set. So this might, let me have a look really fast. All right. Yep, so it's Sterling with an interchangeable uh, piece. So you can pull this, oh cool. You can pull this out, be a different ring every day. Same, same setting, but look how that changes just by putting a new um, band in there. So this is sterling. Those are very likely going to be genuine gemstones. And you've got all these lovely interchangeable um, pieces. As far as what they are, I don't know if they're just glass or if they're um, jade or, or what they are, but I will find out with my Presidian. Put these back where I don't hurt them. Beautiful. That's gonna be, I think, Druzy. I would imagine. Let's see what she has to say on her notes. Yep, Druzy. Brown sugar Druzy. So stunning. So well made. This I would recommend not putting any any kind of liquid cleaner. Anything with pearls. Um, even with turquoise and definitely with druzy. It can hurt the druzy, so. This I'll just clean with a polishing cloth. It's it's probably doesn't need anything, but um, just a quick note. So we've got this and one more, one more bag. Hmm. Oh, tutti frutti. Too fruity, and this looks like a long multi layer necklace. Let me see. I'm going to take it off the camera really quick. Yeah, so it's a long multi layer. It's a little tangled. I'll work on that. But it's so pretty, and this is a good brand. Um, so now. Um, a lot of people that have been asking about that crown mark, here we go. A lot of people mistake it for Juicy Couture, and I think here's our answer. That Tutti Frutti. It's very nice. And I will get it untangled. And last but not least, that is everything. We have, it looks like, a bag of rings. Ooh, and they're gorgeous. And they're garnets, of course. Beautiful. Beautiful garnets. Oh, I love garnets. And these are very nice. These are not cheap rings. These are very nice, substantial rings that have been well cared, cared for and well loved and are in great shape. It's ring number one. Ring number two. Beautiful garnets and marcasite. Marks there. Ooh, I love this. I like the dimension on this. So I've got marcasites and garnet. See the mark there. And last but certainly not least, is this garnet cluster. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. And there we go. See the marking there? So that completes, oh, you hear that thunder? So that is gonna complete this fantastic, fun, fun, fun consignment. Um, again, if you've made it this far, congrats. Thank you for watching and being here to the end. 
Um, if you are interested in consigning with me, please reach out. My contact information is in the description box below. If you are interested in anything that I've shown in this video, keep an eye out on my auction to see it posted in the coming week or two. And thank you so much for watching. Hope to hear from you.